Hey everybody, it's me Vic. Today I wanted to talk about Stream Deck and Stream Deck Plus. When I say Stream Deck, I'm talking about the original Stream Deck, the MK2, the XL, and the Stream Deck Plus. There is an amazing plugin, and this is, I think, a godsend plugin. Honestly, it's the little quality of life touches that Elgato does sometimes. And I have to say their plugin clocks comes in extremely handy for me. I work with different time zones, so I find this particular plugin to be extremely beneficial. Now, it's not going to be the same as a plugin that used to be in the marketplace. It no longer exists, so I'm going to have to archive that video at some point. I just got to go through all my stuff. Um, you know, sometimes things come up and you just have it on your agenda, but other priorities take place. Anyways, let's talk about this. It's called Clocks by Elgato. It's free. And then once you go to the marketplace, which if you don't know how to do that, you just click on this little icon pack here and it takes you directly to the marketplace and then you would just type in clocks and you would be able to find it. Now you can click on open in Stream Deck once you, you know, have it go to your Stream Deck and then it will install. Once it's installed, you're gonna see these two options here. Now I'm gonna talk about using it on a Stream Deck Plus. It's identical to a Stream Deck minus the dials. Now the world clock, right, is pretty cool. You can show it in AM, PM. You can give it the long bar so that way you can see where it's ticking on the clock if you need to. And you can do the same thing in a dial. Now the dial is pretty cool too, and I'll show you why. You get to see the analog and the digital. You can put it for the date and it shows the ticks. So it shows a little clock moving. You can change the color if you want. So let's just say I want it to be blue, right? And same thing here. Let's just say I want this one to be pink, right? So you can change that. So I love that you have those little customized features, right? Well, you can even come down here and let's just say you want a specific time zone, right? So I'm gonna label this CST because I'm in a different state than where Chicago is and I am in central time, right? So I know that this is gonna be CST time and it'll have it labeled there for me. Now, if I wanted to put my city, I could. And same thing here, I could come here, label this CST and there we go. It'll tell me I'm in the central uh, standard time zone and I'll be able to see this. Now this is synced up with daylight savings time because it map it mimics what's on your computer. And then you can change the time zone and it'll adjust automatically. Now this comes in handy for people like myself because I do work with time. Um, I can't really discuss what I do for my career because I like to keep my private and my work life separate. But what I can say is that if my employer allowed me to use this tool on my work computer, this would be so awesome because I would see all of those time zones and not have to go and like to my phone and be like, hey, Google, what time is EST time, which is an hour ahead of me, right? But uh, you get familiar with that stuff as you do it on the daily. But if you didn't, this comes in extremely handy. Um, and even if you weren't working with time, right, and you needed to know a time zone, say you have a buddy who lives in New York and you live in California, California is PST time. Well, then you're going to want to, you know, maybe set yourself a time and be like, oh, you know what, they're probably asleep because it's maybe 3 a.m. for them. And, you know, you're like at five o'clock in the morning and you're wanting to share something with them. But you're like, oh, crap, they're asleep. So you gotta be mindful about those things, right? Like that comes in extremely handy. I think that this is an amazing, amazing plugin. And, and I say that because it doesn't just apply for like somebody who uses it for their career. It applies to real life situations like with family members who live across the country from each other or even in a different uh, area. Like for example, the world clock, you could look up Tokyo or you know wherever and you'll have that particular time zone for them. And you're gonna be like, oh yeah, I can't, talk to them right now they're asleep or you know whatever it is that they're doing I think that's extremely handy but for myself I would only use it for four of the time zones out of the six that we have here in the United States now there's a really cool thing right there's clocks and I'm gonna just drag and drop them here because they're gonna be almost identical but for the sake of it let's go ahead and put the date here and the date here because I'm gonna show you everything that you can do right 12 hour, you can do the seconds, you can do the weekdays. Same thing here, you can do this. 
Now, the reason why I didn't click on flash colons is because if you notice, right, is it down here? Which one am I on? The top one. If you notice, it flashes them as the seconds change. I'm not a fan of that. But if you prefer that, you could do that. It'll do it for wh whichever one you want. Now, the reason why I'm showing you in the software is because I don't have a camera set up to show my stream decks right now. I have like completely revamped my entire like setup area. I mean, to a degree, right? Like I've, I've moved some stuff around, um, but it's just not ready to be shown on an actual video right now. But what you see here is gonna look identical to what you see on your stream deck. Um, I personally don't like flash colons, but you can do the same thing here. Change the, the time color, the date color if you wanted to. Like say you didn't like the white, but you wanted something to stand out enough, you could change it to purple, pink, blue, red, green, or whatever color you fancy. Um, and then the other thing is again, like we did here in the time zone, we can come here and I am gonna label this CST because Chicago is CST Central Standard Time. And it'll tell me this time zone, right? And I can do the same thing here. And there we go. So you can have an analog clock or a digital clock. And if you do the world clock, you still get a digital along with the dial showing, or you can do it just completely digital. Now, if you look on your dial, it's actually displaying the time matching right here, but you won't see that here. So I think that's pretty interesting, right? Now, there is one other thing I wanna show you because let's just say you don't have all of this space, right? to have it. Now, if you have dials, and this is kind of where it's gonna come into Stream Decks, because with re regular Stream Decks, you can use these buttons and have different buttons to set up those times. But if you have a Stream Deck Plus, you can use a dial stack and save yourself some time. And I'm gonna use clocks because I don't really need the world clocks because I only work with four different time zones, right? So I'm gonna go in here, put the date, the 12 hour, the seconds, the weekday, because that's what I want to see. And I'm going to leave it standard. Like you can change these and it'll change it to that style. You could change it to analog if you want, right? Oh, I forgot to show you all that. Hold on. Let's go here on the button. Let's go to clock. I can change it to any particular design that I want it to be, whether it's analog or digital, right? I can do all that. Oh, I already selected that one. I could do all that if I wanted to. And I think that's really neat. But I don't really have a lot of space to have different buttons for each of these. And this is where dial stacks, at least for Stream Deck Plus users, comes in handy. So let's go back over here. I'm not gonna flash the colons because we've already seen that, right? I'm gonna leave it on default. I don't need to change all that. But I am gonna put CST here right? Because I want to be able to go to that dial stack and see that. So I'm going to copy again and paste it, but I'm going to change this. Just the time zone. So there's Denver, right? Denver is going to show up, but I want it to say MST. Okay. And that's going to work for me. And then I'm going to paste it again because I'm going to show you the different time zones that I do work with, right? Now this time, I don't see the one I'm looking for is in here, but P-H-O-E-N-I-X, there we go, Phoenix. And then I'm gonna uncheck this real quick, label it MST, and then I'm gonna, oh, you know what, I should probably put in parentheses, P-H-O-N-E-N-I-X, I'm sorry, I can spell it, but I can't say it correctly. So let's go ahead and click that. And then I'm gonna copy one more. And this time, I am going to uncheck that, and I'm gonna clear that out, and this time I'm gonna put EST, because these are the time zones that I work with. So now with the dial stack, I just push the button and I can see what time it is for which time zone that I need to hop to, to remember, oh, it's this time over there, or it's this time over there. That way I don't make a mistake if I need to adjust anything with time, or at least that's how it would be if, if I was able to have access to a tool like this while I was working. It's really convenient, right? So like, let's just say I got rid of all of this here on screen, drag this here, and there you go. I can just cycle through them by pushing the dial. I don't need to turn the dial. I think that would be cool to turn the dial, but when you do that, you set the timer. And personally, I don't need the timer. So let's let's uncheck the timer. So the, the volume, 
How did I do that? I know I did it. I just don't remember what I did. But I set a timer and I don't really need a timer. See how it shows the timer on the top? As you turn the dial, it does that. So that's the other feature I wanted to show you. I don't really need a timer, but say, hey, you know what? Maybe, maybe I needed to set up a timer for like 10 minutes, right? But I'm in central time, so maybe I need to go here. And as you turn the dial, you can do this. And you could set the timer for 10 minutes. And I think that gave me what, 10 minutes and like some seconds or something. Oh, 10 minutes and one second? Right, but I don't need that, right? So like, I'm gonna turn that off. I don't know how to stop the timer, but I just know that you can scroll backwards and it'll turn it off. Um, and that's really cool if you need a reminder or something while you're working in that time zone because it'll make that little bleep like you heard probably coming through the microphone or not, but it'll do that so you can hear it on your computer, which is pretty interesting. Anyways, I wanted to show you this feature because I think it's a very amazing plugin for people who work with time or have to have different time zones set up. Anyways, thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day.